came here to the University of Michigan to visit their wind tunnel. It's part of their aerospace engineering department and they can simulate hurricane force winds. Chris Chartier is a senior engineering technician at U of M's aerospace engineering department and he's taped this pennant to a pole that he's fastened to the base of the wind tunnel and then he slowly increases the speeds. This is uh, 96 miles an hour. And you can quickly imagine what people in the hurricane's path would experience. Anyone who hasn't gotten to what they think is a safe sound structure. There's no way they're walking anywhere. No, 80 miles an hour is diff very difficult. 90 miles an hour probably you probably lose your footing somewhere around 90. Here you're looking at speeds near 90 miles an hour. A category one hurricane starts with speeds of 74 miles an hour. A category five begins at 157. And Chartier says even in a simulator, the force is unexpected. When you get inside, and you actually feel the forces against you. It's not, you're not really expecting that. Someone with a smaller frame uh, would be able to stand up much easier than someone with a larger frame like myself because there's more forces. Those in the path of Irma now preparing for what is said to be a potentially catastrophic hurricane and one look inside Michigan's wind tunnel and you can only imagine. In Ann Arbor, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.